Hey guys, I have a very interesting product to share with you today, especially if you're looking for some new headphones, or these are, are more geared towards gaming, but you could just use them um, more for, for standard PC use as well, because they're very versatile and they have quite a lot of features. So this is going to be a PC focused review. I'm gonna be testing them in wireless mode, Bluetooth mode, and also their wired audio jack connection mode as well. Please note, as always, this product was sent to me for free for review, and if you'd like to pick it up, you can find a link down in the description. So let's run through a couple of important features or the main things this product is advertised for being for. So they say it has 50 millimeter drivers and two double chamber drivers. Um, and hear every sound in the game. They also have wireless and wired connection methods. You can use the wireless USB dongle that they come with for your PS5, your PS4, um, PC, and they also have a Bluetooth connection which you can put them into so you can use again on anything with a Bluetooth connection. Um, and I, I tested that as well and I'll be sharing with you how I found it. And of course you can use the wired connection via the 3.5 millimeter cable. Um, you can use that um, on a controller um, as well on, on some console controllers. And these also have a noise cancelling microphone. They say they have um, a very comfortable fit and feel as well. I'll be telling you how they felt when I was wearing them. And they're also adjustable as well. First of all, let's talk about their overall finish and how they feel to wear and the buttons and just the overall quality and final finish of the product. So you'll see it's finished in all plastic. There's no metal or kind of high quality parts or at least I wouldn't say any of the, the, the parts or finish of this product feel high quality, but they feel of a decent standard and roughly what I would expect at this price point. Banggood are currently selling these for around 50 pounds which I think um, for how they finished is kind of somewhere in the middle. I think it's it's okay. They don't feel um, really high quality for the price and they don't feel bad. Somewhere in the middle, um, I would have liked a um, slightly nicer looking finish, but uh, most headphones around this price point are probably going to be plastic and have a sort of similar quality finish. But I do find the earmuffs on these um, are slightly more comfortable than some of the others that I've tested around this price range. Not super comfortable. I do feel like they have a little bit of a, a tighter fit than some other headphones that I've tested previously. Because of their slightly tighter fit, or maybe I just have a big head, I'm not sure, um, they did have a little bit of a kind of wear-in period for me where they were a little bit uncomfortable to wear for longer periods of use, but um, I wouldn't say uncomfortable or bad to wear by any means, just after two or three hours of maybe editing um, or doing some gaming, I did, get, I did get a little bit of discomfort in my ears, but I found that got better over time, so in terms of their general comfort, I think they're perfectly fine. On the headphones you have a volume wheel which you can use to roll up and down to change the volume. You have a power button which you use to power the product on and off and to switch it into USB or Bluetooth mode. And you also have your audio jack where you plug in your audio cable and a button to mute and unmute the microphone. The headphones will take about four hours to fully charge. You'll get a red light when they're charging and it will turn blue when they're finished charging. And I also forgot to mention these are using a USB-C cable, which is nice to see they're using the latest version. This is the USB dongle that you plug in to use the headphones in wireless mode. You don't need this to use them in Bluetooth mode. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, I wish they could have made this dongle a little bit more compact as it's quite beefy. The light on it is also really bright and it will constantly flash when you um, turn these off um, when you finish using them, which I found a little bit annoying as it's quite bright. So you do need to unplug this as well or maybe hide it or turn it over. Let's actually talk about what these are actually advertised for and that's using them for gaming in wireless mode with their low latency. Now I can't do any really in-depth technical tests here as I don't have any equipment to do this. So I simply load it into a game and see if I could detect any latency when firing my weapon. This is not something I'm very experienced with, but for an average gamer, I really could notice any delay in the sound and I'd be perfectly happy using these for gaming. I did do a little bit of gaming with these, but it's not something um, I do on a regular basis. I mostly use these for general use while video editing, browsing YouTube and the internet, and they worked really well. They're great for listening to music, they have a decent amount of bass and clarity, um, and overall they're just nice to use. However, they don't sound like a very high-end pair of headphones or even something like some expensive earbuds, but they are good enough quality, I think, for the price you're paying. 
you can sometimes notice a little bit of static or some kind of whining noises when you have these on max volume and there's no audio playing. I did find this pretty minimal and while I actually was playing music or playing a game it wasn't something I really noticed and if I just lowered the volume slightly this tended to go away anyway. One of my favourite things about reviewing this product was realising how much I actually enjoyed using wireless headphones while on my PC. While I often use wireless earbuds um, when I'm using my smartphone or exercising, I've always used a wired version for my PC and didn't realise how much better it was to have a wireless version. And I noticed very quickly because every time I went to move away from my PC um, or grab something from the table behind me, I was so used to having a cable get entangled up, I would go to kind of move a cable that wasn't there out of the way. Um, so it was just it was just really nice to not have to think about that and have the freedom that if I just want to get up and grab something in my room, I can just do it and sit back down without having to touch the headphones. Something else that I realized was initially I thought that having a wireless pair of um, PC headphones would be really annoying so I'd have to worry about charging them up, the battery dying, and what happens if um, the battery dies in six months um, to a year's time. I want the product to last. Well, this product is very versatile and you have many options. So you can plug them in using the audio jack. If the, you don't need any charge in the battery, you can plug them in and they'll work just fine. Even on your smartphone, I tested them and they work great. The sound quality also also sounded the same. You can also use them via the audio jack and charge them at the same time. So even if you want to get back to using them wirelessly as soon as possible, while you're using them in their audio jack mode, you can have them plugged in via USB and they'll charge at the same time while you're using them. Sadly, you can't charge them while you're in wireless mode or while you're in Bluetooth mode as they, for some reason, turn off. It would have been really nice if you could charge them while in use, but this must be some kind of compatibility issue as um, the USB mode also um, it doubles for using them on other devices as well. For some reason, if you were to lose the little wireless dongle, again, you have that Bluetooth mode as a backup. I tested these on my PC and you can also use the microphone while you're in Bluetooth mode as well. For some reason, I couldn't get them to work properly in Bluetooth mode when I was using them on my smartphone. Um, they were low battery at the time and I really need to get the review out so I don't have another three or four hours to charge them up. So um, if you want to know an update on that, just leave me a message and I'll leave a reply. Let's take a listen at what the microphone sounds like both in the Bluetooth mode and on the wireless mode on my PC. Using the microphone via Bluetooth to my PC. So I have the headphones in Bluetooth mode and I want to see if there's any difference in microphone quality to what I'm using in the Wi-Fi mode. I've now switched over to the wireless mode. So we'll compare this to the um, Bluetooth mode. I just had them in earlier and we'll see if you can hear a difference in microphone quality. You can also compare this to when I switch back to my regular higher quality microphone um, and that will give you an idea of what the sound difference is like. So I think the microphone quality is decent. I wouldn't say it's great, um, but it's definitely usable. And don't forget, this is just imported raw into my editing software. If you're using Discord or you're using any kind of call cool software, they generally scrub the audio, remove background noise, hit, um, hissing, that sort of stuff. Um, so this is probably your worst case scenario. If you're using them on console, I'm not sure how much audio cleanup they do on that side, but on PC, most programs, you can boost the audio and, and tweak it to make it sound better. So um, how the audio is there is probably kind of worst case scenario. If you just want to use these in wireless mode and you're worried about the battery, I did find these very usable. I was getting about three to, I could probably stretch maybe four days of use. This is my own personal usage though. I was probably using them maybe three to five hours a day and I wasn't using them on max volume and I was also leaving them plugged in, turned on in wireless mode overnight as they have a very long standby mode. So I would say in total, I was maybe getting about 15 hours of usage before I needed to charge them. One thing to bear in mind, and I did find a little bit annoying, is unless you're using them in Bluetooth mode where you will get a battery readout on your PC when you're in the Bluetooth settings and on your smartphone, there's not really a great indication of your battery level. You'll just get a um, audible low battery warning, but at that point, the headphones are pretty much close to dead um, so I would have liked maybe a, 
um, better indication on the headphones themselves, maybe a four, um, four light system or a three light system. They, they just kind of change color and you get that audible warning when they're very low. So I would like maybe um, just a better status system to notice how much battery life is left in them. Overall, I think this is a very good, well-rounded product. It's not perfect. The sound quality isn't like super high level, um, but for, for your bit of gaming, some, some listening to some music, some YouTube, these are a great wireless option, and their latency does seem to be very good for gaming from you know an average gamer's point of view. And they're also very versatile, so you have a lot of different options you can use them for. But more importantly, how these hold up over the long term and how they last is also important. So if you want to leave a comment down below and, you know, it's been four or five months since I've put this review up, you can ask me for an update if they're still working, if the batteries died, and I will do my best to come back to you as I will be using these as my daily pair when video editing, my little bit of gaming I do, and just general watching of YouTube videos and so on. As always, if you'd like to pick up this product, you can find a link down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And as always, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.